every morning begins with a breath, not yours, but the planet's. The unseen rhythm of leaves converting sunlight into energy has run uninterrupted for billions of years. But imagine, one night, that rhythm simply stops. You wake to a world that feels wrong. The forests outside your window do not sway. The wind no longer carries the scent of fresh earth, of wet soil, of green leaves. No rustling, no chirping, no hum, only silence. And then the realization hits. Every plant on earth has stopped breathing. The lungs of the planet have failed. In that instant, humanity faces the greatest experiment of all. What happens when the foundation of life oxygen-producing plants vanish overnight? The sky seems heavier, the air warmer yet thinner. A quiet dread settles over cities and villages alike, an instinctive understanding that something fundamental has been broken. Even before sunrise, humans everywhere experience it. Children wake gasping for air. Dogs and cats stumble. Birds stop their songs mid-flight. The first breath of the day feels heavier, loaded with an unseen weight. The air tastes faintly metallic, a subtle reminder that life itself is faltering, and no one knows what to do. The planet holds its breath, and the world waits. By the first hour, scientists notice subtle yet alarming trends. Oxygen levels, normally constant, are dropping. Plants responsible for over half of all breathable oxygen no longer replenish the air. Air grows heavier, almost metallic. The human body reacts instinctively. Headaches, dizziness, shortness of breath. Animals show early signs of panic. Birds hover in place, confused. Bees fail to fly. Pollination halts mid-season. Across continents, reports flood in. Humans waking with nausea, pets collapsing, farm animals restless and disoriented. The planet's rhythm, which has existed for eons, has been halted. Rivers glint under the sun, yet the air is thick and unbreathable. The smallest natural cycles dew forming, evaporation, condensation wobble. Unseen yet catastrophic, the planet's heartbeat has skipped its first beat in billions of years. Even distant ecosystems feel it. Coral reefs falter as oxygen dissolved in water drops. Soil microorganisms weaken. The invisible web of life trembles. Forests, once vibrant and alive, fall silent. Leaves dry instantly, shriveling to ash in the morning sun. The green that once clothed the earth fades into brown, then gray, then dust. Photosynthesis halts. Energy cycles fail. Oxygen production ceases. Carbon dioxide accumulates at unprecedented rates, trapping heat faster than ever. Daytime temperatures spike, scorching deserts and cities alike. Nights grow frigid, shocking wildlife and humans unprepared. Skies glow orange and red from wildfires devouring the remaining dry forests. Mountains lose their snow caps. Rivers shrink to cracked, muddy veins. Oceans warm as currents falter. Marine life suffocates. Insects vanish within hours. Pollinators gone. Seed dispersal halts. Ecosystems collapse silently, yet violently, cascading through every level of life. Even fungi, the decomposers of the natural world, fail, leaving dead matter unbroken. The planet, once balanced, begins to spin under the weight of its own chaos. Storms intensify unpredictably. Desert winds whip across continents, and dust clouds block sunlight in localized regions. At first, governments call it an anomaly. News anchors smile nervously, claiming it's temporary. But oxygen continues to fall. By the first week, people collapse in streets, gasping. Hospitals overflow. Oxygen masks become the new currency. Factories halt. Power grids fail as humans cannot operate machinery in suffocating air. People burn remaining forests to survive, but each tree burned accelerates the collapse. Social order disintegrates, markets crash, trade stops, food shortages spread, water scarcity worsens as rivers dry and rainfall ceases. Communities fight over remaining resources, 
martial law is imposed. Civilization, built on the rhythm of green life, begins to crumble. Even those who flee to mountains or remote regions face the same suffocating air. The crisis is planetary. Every ecosystem, every species, every human is connected to the collapse of plants. Herbivores perish first. Carnivores follow. Grasslands turn to dust. Crops wither. Cities become deserts of heat and ash. Rivers shrink. Lakes evaporate. Oceans acidify and warm, suffocating plankton, the base of marine life. Mass die-offs ripple across ecosystems. Birds that once spread seeds vanish. Pollinators, soil bacteria, fungi, the smallest engines of life fail silently. Fires spread. Deserts expand. Climate destabilizes. Pollution, normally absorbed by plants, lingers in deadly concentrations. Humanity, dependent on plants for food, oxygen, and climate regulation, faces extinction-level threats. Famine spreads like wildfire. Starvation becomes rampant. Disease follows. The world grows silent, save for the wind sweeping across barren plains and empty forests. Even oceans, once cradles of life, die indirectly as coastal ecosystems collapse. Soil erodes rapidly without plant roots. Mountains lose vegetation, triggering landslides and avalanches. Deserts expand. Volcanoes erupt beneath dry forests, sending ash into already suffocating skies. Climate spirals further. Equatorial regions scorch. Polar ice caps freeze unpredictably. Weather systems collapse. Mega droughts and sporadic storms devastate continents. Ocean currents fail. Fish migrations collapse. Every tree cut, every forest burned, every ecosystem destroyed brings that night closer. The plants still breathe for now. But if they, life under the waves would reshape everything. But it's where science meets imagination. Would you want humans to breathe underwater? Like and subscribe for more what-if scenarios.